News courtesy of Sky Sports. Tyson Fury vows to smash Deontay Wilder after signing the contract for a trilogy fight. Um, it says here, Tyson, Tyson Fury has vowed to smash Deontay Wilder. Um, Britain's WCBC, WBC champion was ordered to, by an arbitration court to face Wilder next, disrupting plans for the undisputed world title clash against Anti Joshua. And Fury has now officially agreed to a trilogy fight, which is quite funny, isn't it? Yeah? Somehow, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea, especially if they knew what the contract was saying. Um, Tyson Fury's team and Andrew Joshua's team thought it best to just, you know, leapfrog over Deontay Wilder and organize their own fight because obviously they're meant to be fight. For, they're meant. They're meant to be. They've. They have meant to. I might just mess up my words for. They've meant to fight for a long time, but it never got organized, and they kind of finally, you know, after all the bickering online, they put pen to paper. But then I guess Wilder has always kind of taken the loss against Tyron Fury, Tyson Fury, sorry, really badly. He hasn't really accepted the circumstances around it. He's made every excuse under the book, whether it's to do with his costume, alleging Tyson Fury has soft stuff in his gloves. But regardless of the fact, he still, to this day, is kind of, um, you know, resistant to being a kind of gracious loser. He's definitely, in his head, made this idea that he didn't lose circumstances made him lose right but he didn't lose to a better man he still thinks he's got a chance of winning it and i guess in the original contract they had some sort of stipulation that basically said they could have a trilogy fight and that would be a trilogy fight that i guess couldn't be interrupted you have to kind of have it back to back and um but people just assume because fatata fury smashed him so much that he was just going to step aside but i guess you know wilder definitely thinks he can win which i don't necessarily think is true i think we've seen the best of wilder i think in terms of his power, it's going to be obviously it's a freak, freaky power that he has in terms of being able to knock people, knock people out and turn the lights off. But in terms of actually being able to box and stand behind his jab, he just doesn't have that discipline or that patience to do so. But I have seen footage of him training recently, and he does look pretty good. He does look pretty boring. He does look pretty methodical and pretty much um, like what you'd say a conventional boxer looks like. Whether or not he can implement that into his actual fights and not get sort of rush of blood and kind of come out with his arms by his side and throwing, you know, big looping right hands or whatever it may be and uppercuts and stuff is another thing. But he honestly thinks he can win. He really, really does think he can win. And maybe, of course, that's part of a, a fighter's makeup and mindset. You kind of have to be a little bit delusional to be a, you know, a fighter of any sort, you know, boxing, MMA. You kind of have to have this idea that you are the baddest man walking the earth and you can knock anybody out because why else... With a, with a sane man with any sort of logical mind want to go into a ring or face somebody else to fight. It doesn't make any sense. So you kind of have to be a little bit delusional. But so from seeing what we saw, Tyson Fury in that ring against Deontay Wilder, it's not really looking optimistic. It's not really looking... The odds of Wilder winning aren't really high, are they? If you think about it. Um, is it well, they're not good odds anyway. That's what you'd say. So it says here... Fury had stopped Wilder in the seventh round to claim a WC belt last February, but the Alabama but Alabama man activated the clause for a return and they will resume their heated rivalry this summer. Jesus Christ, gonna be wicked. Said Wilder, this contract is signed, told top rank personal team, you're getting smashed. When I say smashed, I mean smash, smash, bang. You're getting knocked out, end of one round, you're going, I've got your soul, your mojo, everything. Which is obviously a big deal because of how he smashed him, but I would just it would just be like boxing, right? It would just be like fighting for Wilder to go in there and knock Fury out because of the arrogance that they had as a team that to think that they could just leapfrog him. Okay, you beat the guy, but at least discuss it with him first and find out if he wants to step aside. But the fact that they just publicly went ahead with the match between Fury and thought Wilder was just going to step aside, it would just, you know, karmically, you just know Wilder's just going to come in, smoke uh, Fury reject any sort of rematch of Fury, walk off to the sunset and say, I'm the baddest man on the planet, and then go and knock out Joshua. You know that's going to end up happening, isn't it? You know it. And if there's one person who you'd think, this is maybe a weird thing to say, if there's a person who you'd think Joshua would probably be able to beat in a boxing match, it would be Tyson Fury. Like, boxing to boxing, people still think maybe Fury's better. But when it comes to a one-off fight against Wilder, it's the flip of a coin, what happened. I can still see Wilder kind of, you know, landing some killer blow and, you know, discombobulating Joshua and having him wobble and stuff, right? I can still see that happening. So I say it's a, probably the worst scenario ever for Wilder to win this rematch, but I can definitely envision it happening. <laughs> he says, you're getting smashed. When I say smash, I mean smash, bang, um, gun. You're getting knocked out in round one. End of, I've got your soul, I've got your mojo, everything. Unified champion Joshua must overcome um, all... Uh, 
Alexander Usyk to preserve a to preserve a postponed fight against Fury to decide who's number one Fury fighter. So there's, there's so much riding on this, right? Joshua has to beat Usyk. If he doesn't beat Usyk, then he doesn't face Fury. But Fury also has to beat Wilder. Oh, uh, the WBO has ordered Joshua to defend his bout against mandatory challenger Usyk, issuing a 10-day period to strike a deal before the purse bids uh, are called. According to my knowledge, AJ is already is ready to take the challenge. Usyk promoter Alexander Khrushchev told the Sky Sports it may happen anywhere, including Wembley, but yet no serious venue commitments have been made. The Usyk fight is expected to be staged in August with Joshua and Fury promoters hoping to reschedule the undisputed bout in December. Wow, they're really trying to bang this out this year, isn't it? They want to get that fight out the way in July and then their defences or the rematches in terms of Fury's case and then fight each other in December. Quick turnarounds, isn't it? Quick turnaround. So let's see what happens, man. But again, it wouldn't surprise me if Wilder ends up winning this rematch. It really wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't surprise me at 